Hi friends, what is light cell service in AWS? Why we should use light cell? How to use light cell? What are those simple steps to configure and access light cell instances, databases, networking services and so on? We will see all about a light cell in this video. Welcome back to DevOps Article YouTube channel. So friends, uh, what is light cell? Uh, we are talking about this. Light cell is nothing but it is uh, one of the compute service provided by Amazon Web Services. A light cell is also called as a BPS server, which we can use for uh, to configure our mail server or a simple web uh, websites for uh, our use case. Light cell includes everything you need to launch your product quickly, and uh, includes it includes uh, virtual machines. Containers, database, CDN, load balancer, DNS management, uh, uh, these are the you know services provided by the light cells. So uh, why should we use light cell? Light cell uh, gives us uh, many features and benefits. So we will look into that. Light cell has a pre-configured virtual private instances uh, right and includes it includes uh, everything easily to deploy and manage your application light cell is best suited to project that requires a uh, few instances and uh, developers who uh, you know preferring a uh, easy management or interface to you know handle this stuff handle their development work generally a uh, light cell used to website uh, and uh, uh, simple applications, business softwares, blogs, and e-commerce sites. That's purpose. Uh, light cell generally are uh, usable using right now. And uh, light cell also provided uh, features like uh, a load balancer and uh, block storages. We can attach with them. We can create a snapshot. We can um, you know uh, open the ports under firewall, block the ports to provide the security uh, to that light cell instances. We can, uh, you know, create our uh, DNS records, and we can access light cell instances uh, using uh, customizable uh, DNS URL. We can also uh, assign a static IP to that particular light cell instance, and uh, all these features we will have under light cell. That's why light cell is important to quick start in our you know software development process so uh, how do we connect uh, we have to uh, create uh, uh, some ssh connection uh, from your from our machine to light cell server so that we can access that so we will see that uh, through this graphics let's say this is a user and uh, this is a aws cloud under this AWS cloud, we have created a light cell instance, right? Now, how we connect with that? So we have to create a SSH tunnel in between users and light cell server. So using this SSH tunnel, uh, we will connect to the AWS services. We can, uh, you know, access uh, services under light cell server. So this tunnel, uh, to configure this tunnel uh, we have to run some command on our machine and uh, you know once the tunnel established we can access uh, uh, the php my admin the database uh, which have on uh, you know light cell instance we can uh, access uh, our uh, light cell instances to upload and download data from the light cell server that settings we will see in the next slide for uh, filezilla so what are the prerequisite uh, to perform these activities? We should have AWS account. We should have a private key downloaded while creating an AWS instance or server. And uh, we should uh, have the IP address of that light cell server and uh, a password. Uh, that password, we will look into that, how we can you know collect that password from that uh, light cell server. So friends, uh, uh, let's start the light cell uh, creation uh, uh, process. Uh, so here we have uh, some steps to create a light cell instance and uh, you know connect to the um, my PHP admin and uh, filezilla. 
so i'll uh, share this all the steps uh, in description below so that you can easily uh, follow these steps um, so let's start with the login with aws account i have already logged into my aws account first i have to select my region and i have selected mumbai then i will uh, find the light cell service in search box i clicked on that and then you can see the light cell interface is open and uh, under light cell we can see uh, uh, many features like containers we can create we can create a database we can create networking services storage and snapshot for light cell instance for now uh, we will uh, create first our light cell instance by clicking on create instance first option we can see a uh, instance location so we'll choose the locations we already selected our region which is mumbai uh, you can also select according to your requirement. These are the reasons available right now under light cells After that uh, we have a, a Platform uh, instance platform, which is a uh, Linux or Windows based under Windows uh, under Windows. Uh, we have uh, 2019 16 and 12 uh, Windows server we can create and uh, It's also gives uh, two options apps OS apps plus OS and only OS for now we will uh, just go with the Linux uh, which also having a uh, two options we can select only apps OS or uh, we can go with the apps plus you know um, OS and uh, uh, here we can see um, there's a uh, you know, software platform uh, which is stack uh, you can see the lamp stack you can also see kit lab C panel using this software platform you can build your own you know light cell instances which already have all the requirement uh, pre-configured re pre-configured requirement over here so we'll uh, select uh, wordpress for now then we will uh, create a ssh key for our light cell by default uh, if you're not created it will uh, go with the default license uh, ssh key Make sure you have to download this key it requires uh, whenever you log into your light cell instance we'll create new one we'll give the name dev ssh i'll generate this key i'll uh, it gives the error it's already having uh, i think uh, ssh key is already there with the same name so i'll create uh, another name with another name my dev ssh so i'll generate it and it's created now you have to download this key because it's required to whenever you log into a light cell instance so it's downloaded now uh, we have to choose our subscription for light cell as you can see uh, here uh, 3.5 5 10 20 dollar 40 and so on these are the uh, current subscription for uh, your light cell uh, you can choose your light cell instances according to your memory requirement your process requirement processor requirement your storage requirement and whatever data transfer you required over the period you can select your you know according to that so you can check the uh, specification also for the uh, light cell instances so for now i'll go with the basic one which is 2 gb memory uh, then you have to give your uh, unique name for your light cell so i'll give my light cell my dev light cell uh, make sure your, your light cell instance name should be unique uh, you can mention your tags and values uh, to manage if you have a multiple light cell instances so it will give uh, best option you have to give the tags so that you can easily manage next you have to click on create instance now here uh, it will take some time to create your light cell instance you can just hit on home or uh, this light cell dashboard to check the status according to your steps um, as you can see we have uh, 
just create a light light cell instances uh, instance uh, using these steps we first uh, select availability zone uh, first of all, uh, re we select our region then availability zone then we pick the instance type then we uh, selected required software platform we created and download SSH key then we uh, already selected our pricing model according to my requirement you can also select according to your requirement then we give a unique name for light cell then uh, now, now we have to connect to our light cell right so once a light cell instance up and running we will uh, log in try to log into our light cell instances to get the default password so let's check the status now you have to you have an option over here uh, on three uh, dot you just click on you will get the option manage stop reboot delete and connect so these options uh, will help us to manage the light cell you can also click on this icon to connect your light cell instance so it takes time it's still not up and running meanwhile uh, now we have to uh, before uh, you know connecting the light cell instance we have to give the permission to downloaded ssh key so we'll give that by opening our terminal i am in a mac uh, so this tutorial is only for uh, mac and linux users uh, how to uh, you know they connect to uh, light cell instances from their mac or linux machines so let's open the terminal and go to the uh, directory where you have downloaded your SSH key you can find here uh, your SSH key so my SSH key name is my dev SSH so I'll give the uh, permission ch mode 660 and my SSH key name so it will change uh, the permission according to the requirement uh, now let's check the instance status it's running and let's try to connect we will connect now now here you have to use one command to get the default uh, username and the password you have to type this command cat bitnami underscore credential so we'll get this password so this is default password and this is default username you can also uh, check over here you can also use this password to access the database and uh, other component to stack in the clouds so this is a default password for your php my php admin login right so let's save this password i'll keep it here so now uh, try to access your uh, WordPress website using this public IP. I'll just put this public IP in the browser. And you can see I can able to access my WordPress website. But uh, I'm not able to access uh, my PHP admin using this public IP. Let's see. PHP my admin so it will give the security error so AWS not allowing to use uh, or access your PHP admin uh, console uh, through the public IP right so for that we have to create it uh, we have to create this SSH tunnel right now next step is we are uh, already given the permission now we have to uh, create a tunnel right we have to create a tunnel using this uh, ssh hyphen i then my path towards my ssh key so i'll give my enter path my ssh and then hyphen l uh, and then my custom port so i'll give my this port which is mentioned in here 
4 times 8 colon 127.0.0.1 colon my destination port 80 then I'll use username bit nami at the rate my public IP address so my public IP address is this one So I'll explain over here, uh, this is uh, your key path for SSH key, then 4x8 uh, uh, is uh, your source port and this is a local host, 80 is the destination for port, you can use 80 or 443 for destination port uh, towards light cell server, Vietnam is the default user uh, name for the light cell and uh, uh, this is uh, after bitnami at the red uh, bitnami is your uh, user id and uh, public ip you have to give one over here we'll hit enter uh, then uh, once you logged into your light cell it means your light cell ssh tunnel established between your machine to light cell server right now we will check uh, PHP my admin see uh, using localhost slash port time at whatever port you have given you can use uh, you can able to log in so which password uh, the same password which we previously taken from the light cell instance we have to use over here So now you are, we are able to log in time. So this way uh, we can, we can able to log into the MyPHP admin uh, using uh, creating a SSH tunnel to your your private machine to the light cell server. So friends, uh, we are able to now access the PHP My admin page, but uh, how we can upload our documents on the light cell server for that we required to set up our uh, filezilla right so how to access uh, or connect to filezilla so that we can upload our document on the light cell server so we will uh, open up filezilla for that and we'll create a site for that we'll select the sftp protocol we'll give the our light cell instance ip for that as a host name we will uh, select the login type key file because we are going to log in using the RSSS key we already have downloaded RSSS key we'll give the path for that and the default username for your light cell instance to connect which is bitnami bitnami right we have a selected SFTP protocol we given the uh, IP address you don't have to give that you just have to give the entire IP address only then uh, login type we have a key file a username would be have bitnami and we have given our uh, downloaded SSS key path then we just have to click on connect so you would uh, connect to your you know um, server light cell server so you can upload your uh, website file you can download so we have covered all these steps and this way you can easily able to uh, create your light cell instance log into your php admin connect to your uh, filezilla to upload and download your documents for your website so we will see uh, in next video till then thank you